Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and today I have for you the very last AC Moore video. <laughs> so, I actually um, went to AC Moore yesterday after work because my boss had been there that morning and she said she got like $500 worth of stuff for 20 <laughs> And I was like, what? I don't know, she may have been exaggerating a little bit, but anyway, um, she said that they had everything marked like 70 to 90% off. And then if you bought 20 items, you got 20% off, an extra 20% off. If you bought 30 items, you got an extra 30% off and on up. So, and she said it could be items like, you know, 20 pieces of paper, which they had marked down to nothing anyway. So I thought, well, hey, I'm just going to go in there and see because these uh, magnesite beads, I just, they had had a bunch of those left and I just wanted to see if they had any of those. I was going to pick up some more of the magnesite beads um, because I think I will use them and for the price that they were, it was really, you know, kind of worth it. So <clears throat> I did go in there and... <laughs> Yes, I mean, okay, so my receipt says that I saved $275.55. Um, my subtotal came to $23.85, and then I got 50% off that because I bought 50 items. Now, my 50 items were not big things. They were like pieces of paper um, and bead strands and stuff. So I'm going to show you everything that I got. But if you do have an AC more near you um, and they haven't closed already, <laughs> you may go in there because, I mean, this is insane. It it was um, $23.85 and then she took the 50% off. So it made my total $12.76, but the original prices would have added up to $275.55. So that's pretty amazing. So I'm going to show you what I got. So if you watched my earring tutorial, the one where I um, made the Swarovski crystal earrings, I just uploaded it yesterday, I think, which was St. Patrick's Day. Um, you saw that I used this cardstock paper. It's just plain on one side and it is glittery on the other side. This is the side that shows on the back of your earring. And these were marked down from $1.99 a piece to $0.08. Cents. <laughs> so, and if you bought four, you got six free. So, I picked up a couple of these copper colored ones. Three of them. And then they had these. I was looking for silver. I couldn't find any silver. But these are kind of like a... They're, they're gold, but they're not like bright gold. So they're almost like a silver. I was trying to see if they had a color listed on here, but they don't. But these actually come in a plastic thing, so you know they're fancy. <laughs> but these were all eight cents a piece. So one, two, three, four of those. Oh, I got another one of these. So four of those, four of these, five of these. Here's another one. And then this shiny one. Um, so yeah, I got each piece of paper, each one of these 11 by 14. No, these are 12 by 12. I'm sorry, 12 by 12 card stocks, which were originally $1.99 are marked down to $0.08. Cents. So, and then I got, I think, 50% off that. So yeah, pretty amazing deal there. So I did pick those up because I know I will use them for backings on earrings and stuff. Okay, so then... I decided that I'm going to make some of the pearl and ribbon necklaces. I'm going to do a tutorial on it here in a couple of days. I don't know if you all have seen them, but you use ribbon and you take pearls and you sew with a needle and thread and it places the pearls in between ruffles on your ribbon and then you tie a bow. It's, it makes really pretty bracelet or necklace. So they had this ribbon and it was originally, let's see, this one was originally $4.99 and it was 25 cents. The satin one was originally 3.99 and it was 20 cents. And the glitter one was originally 4.99 and it was 50 cents. So I mean, that's a great deal for the ribbon and I think these will be really really pretty to do those um necklaces and bracelets with and I like this velvet one especially. It's real pretty. So I got those. And then so, I thought that the jewelry stuff was pretty much cleaned out. My jewelry store, or my AC Moore, had these um, 
clearance bins, I mean, they'd been there forever. Like, you go in and there's this huge bin of clearance stuff, and you have to dig down, and I think stuff gets stuck at the bottom of it, and it was just a big mess. But um, I've been looking in those every time I've gone in and finding really cool stuff, like buried in the bottom of that. <laughs> so I looked in that again yesterday, and it didn't have much in it. And then I noticed the magnesite beads that I wanted... That's what I went in there for. They were up by the registers in baskets. And so I went up looking through these and I found some of these things. So these are gold plated um, crimp beads. And I'm going to try to find the original prices on these if I can. So I believe, let's see, 2.0. This is 2.5. So... I'm not sure. It looks like all I see on here is 2.0. But anyway, $4.99 marked down to $0.16. Cents. So that's um, some 2 millimeter, 2.5 millimeter crimp beads. There's 80 pieces in there for $0.16. Cents. <laughs> then these bead alone rings, I really like these. Um, and these are kind of tarnished. I'll have to clean them up, up with my cleaning cloth. But um, they they were on clearance for $4.99, but they were originally $7.49. And my receipt says, and they were 16 cents each. So, man, I mean, you just can't beat that. Um, these are some Swarovski crystal findings, earring findings. Like, you put the little crystals in there, and there's a place here in the ear wire for, or the post thing for a chaton. And these, if I can find them, <clears throat> these, I think think well I can't really tell I'm trying to look but it's really hard to tell on these receipts like what was what I'll, I'll see if I can find that but anyway um I got that they had some bales and I use these all the time when I make mermaid necklaces or keychains um and these were $4.49 and I got them for 16 cents <clears throat> here are some more crimp beads um, and again, these were $4.99, marked down to $0.16. Cents. These are some um, reducers, so you can make like a three-strand necklace with these and it reduces down to one. These are Tierra cast. And let me see if I can see how much. Some of the stuff she just, I don't even think she scanned each or each individual thing, so... It's kind of hard, but yeah, I mean, nothing on this receipt of these jewelry findings was more than 50 cents, so, <laughs> um, but anyway, Link beat it, maybe this is it, $4.99 marked down to 16 cents, I think, maybe, um, and then these are cord in, it's a clasp, a cord in clasp, like you, a hook and eye kind of thing that you would glue your cords up in there, if you're doing like a leather, um, necklace or bracelet or something and I'm trying to see if I can find it I don't necessarily see it on here but yeah I got that and this is another Swarovski piece I got a few of these before um, but you glue the little you can glue the crystals in this is a pendant piece and this one was $4.99 marked down to 16 cents <clears throat> And then they had these little gold pinch bell things, and I went ahead and got these because I don't have any gold. I have um, silver and some other colors, but I didn't have any gold bell type items, <laughs> so I did pick those up. And I believe they were four forty nine, marked down to sixteen cents. So yeah, I mean I got a lot of really good deals with that stuff. Um, and then. They had in their, in the magnesite bead pile, <laughs> um, I found some other strands of beads, like, buried down underneath them. Oh, here's another thing of the copper-colored crimp beads. I, got, I picked up another one of those. Um, so these beads were all buried down underneath in the magnesite beads, and I was kind of shocked to find them because I mean I had been in there just like a week ago and like really looked good through stuff because I was buying stuff for somebody else and I pretty much thought it was cleaned out I don't know if they found some more stuff somewhere or you know what happened but they did have some 
different stuff than what I had seen, or maybe it was just all laying in the bottom of the bins and you couldn't see it. So these right here are really cute, I think, and I thought they would be really cute to do those, um, these kind of earrings. These earrings right here, um, I thought these would be cute on there to do some, some like that. So I may do a pair with this. These are chips. I don't know what kind of chips they are. They look to me like shell, like colored shell pieces, but they're really pretty. And I found there were several strands of them. I mean, there's like five or six here. And these, let me see here if I can find where they are. Okay, so she just sc scanned all the strands together. So it looks like, oh, okay. It looks like they were $6.99 a piece and these are marked down to 71 cents. So yeah, I thought they were really cool. Just really pretty colors of like a shell, um, something or other. <laughs> so I picked up all that I could find of those and there were probably more down in there, but I was kind of in a hurry. I was on my way home from work yesterday and needed to get home. And then, um, they had these little tiny orange cat eye beads, and I thought these were so pretty. I love cat eye anyway, and these were just teeny tiny. And I thought the color was really cool, so these were $6.99 for this strand. Marked down to, um, let me look here, $0.71. Cents. So yeah, just what a great deal. And then they had these metal beads that, like I said, I hadn't seen these before. In there. I mean, I didn't see them last time I was in there. But I thought they were really cute. Just little metal spacer beads. And they <clears throat> were $7.99 marked down to $0.71. Cents. Wow. And then they had these honeycomb beads. Um, two hole beads. Or no, these are pip beads. I'm sorry. These are pip beads. And I actually did a um, tree of life where I wire wrapped. Did the wire wrapped tree of life and used these for this, the leaves. They were green. But they turned out really cute. They make really cute leaves on those trees of life. If any of you wire wrappers do the tree of life, these pip beads, it's just the way they're shaped. They make really pretty leaves on there. So there's the pip beads. These are honeycomb beads. And I have some more of these in different colors. I've never used them. I need to look up, you know, a pattern for them. <clears throat> but they were $5.99 and they were marked down to $0.16. Cents. So that's really cool. And these... Are some kind of gemstone I think I don't know they may be jade they kind of look like jade to me but I debated getting them but then I, I thought these would be really cool to sew together in kind of like a flower pattern or something so I'm gonna when I take them off the strand I'll figure them out but they're pretty look at this they've got like a lot of different um, I don't know they're just really unique I don't know what they are it doesn't say on there but they were $5.99 marked down to $0.16. Cents. So, wow. What a great deal. Okay, and then the Magnezite beads, which is actually what I went in there for. <laughs> um, so, I just picked up some more of these. I know I did these in a different haul. But I really like these beads. Um, a lot of, there's just... A lot of different, let's see, I think that's all I got in that one. So, yeah, I mean, I really like these. And you kind of have to, well, I guess you don't have to. But if you're wanting to make sets of things, like earrings and stuff, you almost need two strands. Um, but these all were $6.99 a piece starting out. And they're all marked down to, let's see, where's it at on here? $0.53. Cents. Well, one of them says 26 cents. One of them says 79. One of them says $1.32. So I think it depended on how many you bought. But anyway, that none of them were more than $1.32. And I love these. I like to bead in, in the middle of these. I mean, they're just really cute. So I got three of those window looking ones. Like I've picked up some of those before, I know. Um, the hearts I thought were just really pretty with these little hearts. I thought they'd be really pretty on earrings or, you know, just anything. I just, I like the way that they had this black in there, like, 
You know, these are magnesite, which is a gemstone bead. So I got three hearts. These sugar skulls. I'm not a huge skull fan, but I do think these sugar skulls are cute, I have to say. And they sell really well at Halloween. People love love them. And um, they make just really cute little earrings and stuff. So I picked up three strands of these. I don't know. I'm not a big skull person, but I think those are really cute. <laughs> and if you put, um, you can use a bead cap upside down on here and another like a little sparkly bead. And it looks like they have a little crown on and that turns out really cute too. I've done that before. And then these leaf ones I loved. Um, I thought these leaf ones were really cute. And I got three strands of the leaf ones. I don't know what I'll use them on, but I thought they were really cute anyway. The starfish here I use when I make um, seashell pendants. And I have a couple more strands of these starfish, not in this haul, but before. But yeah, I use these in seashell pendants and um, just nautical themed jewelry and ocean themed jewelry. And they're, I like the colors. They're pretty. And then um, I found some of the crosses that I, I could only find one strand before, but they had more this time. So I picked up um, three strands of the crosses because I'm doing jewelry for my church and stuff. And these make really quick and pretty little earrings if you take, you know, you put it on a head pin you put a little sparkly bead or a couple beads on top in your ear hook, and they make really pretty little earrings. And then last but not least, I like this little flower-looking piece. Now, I had these before, and they were bigger, but um, these are a smaller version, and I had sewn the bigger ones together and made a pendant, so I'm not sure what I'll do with these, but I think they're really cute, even if you just, you know, use them by themselves for a little pair of of earrings with a bead or you could put a little rhinestone in the middle right there but I think they're really cute so that will be the last time that I will go to AC more because they are literally closing their doors like in a week and they didn't have much left really at all in jewelry um I was shocked to find this much because last time like I said I was in there they didn't have hardly anything left and I think that this stuff must have been buried except for these magnesite beads which were out before but um the rest of this stuff that I found must have been buried underneath things in those big bins or something, and they just emptied those bins out, and so there it is. But, um, yeah, I got all of that, which retail valued without sales at two seventy five fifty five. I got all of it for $12.76. <clears throat> so, yeah, great, great deals. I love to find deals like this. I hate that a store is closing, but... Um, if it has to close, I'm glad we can find deals like this. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. This will be the last one because, you know, they're closing and I won't be going back. <laughs> but, um, yeah, great deals, great prices. If you can stock up like that when you find them, it's really worth it. So yeah, but anyway, I'm going to get off here. It is nine o'clock. I need to get ready for work and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.